Welcome to Hamad's Biology Online Lecture Room. My name is Hamad Ahmad Jan, lecturer in Botany, Kurtaba University of Science and Information Technology, Peshawar Campus, Hyatabad, Peshawar. The topic of this video lecture is heavy metals pollution. It is the second part of this topic. Heavy metals and air pollution. Both natural and man-made sources are responsible for increasing heavy metals in the air. Natural emissions come from wind burn soil particles, volcanoes, forest fires, sea salt sprays and biogenic sources. However, the anthropogenic sources of atmospheric emissions through diverse human activities exceed the natural fluxes from most metals. Even the metals emitted naturally in wind-blown dusts are often of industrial origin. Some of the prominent sources of atmospheric pollution are burning fossil fuel to generate energy, automobile exhaust, insecticides, manufacturing of steel, smelting, etc. Lead is the most pervasive environmental pollutant. Despite reduction of its content in petrol or diesel by many countries, it still accounts for roughly two-thirds of global lead emission. One third of the world's urban population is estimated to be exposed to marginal or unacceptable lead concentrations. Thus, emission of metals into the air is probably the greatest source of heavy metal pollution, which in turn contaminates aquatic ecosystem and soils through atmospheric fallout heavy metals and water pollution contaminants behave in different ways when added to water non conservative materials including organics some inorganics and many microorganisms are degraded by natural self-purification processes so that their concentration is reduced with time. The rate of, of decay of these materials however depends on the type of pollutant, the receiving water quality temperature and other environmental factors. Many inorganic substances are not affected by natural processes and hence their concentration is reduced only by dilution. Conservative pollutants are often unaffected by normal water and wastewater treatment processes so that their presence in a particular water source may limit its use. Most of these materials originate from industrial discharges and would include heavy metals from metal finishing 
and plating operations insect repellents from textile manufacturer herbicides and pesticides etc rapid industrialization and accelerating global development over the past two centuries have greatly increased the rate at which trace metals are released into the environment as a result many of the fresh water bodies are becoming greatly altered according to belog et al 2009 lake pepin a natural lake on the upper mississippi river usa reveals the historical trends in trace metal use and discharge in the watershed both diffuse and point sources have contributed to trace metal loadings in the river and accumulation in the lake prior to european settlement trace material metals accumulating in the lake pepin came primarily from diffuse natural sediment sources throughout the watershed later with increasing human development in the watershed municipal and industrial wastes added trace metal to the river and lake The Great Ganges River of India has also been found to have high heavy metals in sediments and fish. Substantial changes in waste generation and treatment practices after the 1960s have however reduced trace metal inputs. Arsenic is toxic and a known carcinogenic carcinogen whose self safe limit in drinking water in most countries is 10 to 50 mg per liter despite similar mandates found in many countries arsenic contamination remains a worldwide threat arsenic concentrations are higher in groundwater than in surface water where the presence of arsenic is mainly due to dissolved minerals from weathered rocks and soils additionally in groundwater from the area surrounding and including hanoi Vietnam arsenic concentrations have been found to range from 1 to 3050 mg per liter with an average concentration of 159 mg per liter in highly affected areas arsenic concentrations averaged over 400 mg per liter water analyzed after treatment had concentrations ranging from 25 to 91 mg per liter but with 50% of wells tested still had over 50 mg per liter arsenic high arsenic concentration pose a chronic health threat to millions drinking contaminated water heavy metals and soil pollution rapid industrialization and subsequent expansion of the population 
हैव कंसिडरेबली इनक्रीज इंडस्ट्रियल एंड म्यूनसिपल वेस्ट वाटर डिस्चार्ज एंड अदर पोलूटेंट्स इन मैनी कंट्रीज साइल इज ए मेजर सिंक फॉर हैवी मेटल्स रिलीज इन टू द इन्वायरमेंट many soils in industrialized countries are affected by acid deposition mine waste and organic refuses such as sewage sludge that introduce pollutants to the soil According to Morel et al 2005 the level of pollution of soil by heavy metals depends on the retention capacity of soil especially on physiochemical properties like mineralogy grain size organic matter affecting soil particle surfaces and also on the chemical properties of the metal these metals may be retained by soil components in the near surface soil horizons or may precipitate are co-precipitate as sulfides carbonates oxides or hydroxides with iron manganese and calcium etc in arid zone carbonate effectively immobilizes heavy metals by providing an absorbing or nucleating surface and by buffering ph at values where metal hydrolyzes and precipitate the mobility of trace metals reflects their capacity to pass from one soil component to another where the element is bound less energetically the ultimate compartment being soil solution which determines the bioavailability the distribution of metals among various compartments or chemical forms can be measured by sequential extraction procedures knowledge of how contaminants are partitioned among various chemical forms allows a better insight into degradation of soil and water quality following the input of metals around mining and metallurgical plants therefore soils pollution by heavy metals occurring both on surface and in deeper layers of soil is of great concern for environmental quality control the pattern of pollutant content is the synergistic result of mixed processes including diffusion of deposited airborne particulate matter fluvial deposition of contaminated sediments and irregular leaching of layers associated by rain water even down to ground water 
the impact of heavy metals resulting from mining and ore roasting on soil is attenuated by several processes such as adsorption precipitation and complex formation with soil compounds soil pollution with the heavy metals is multidimensional upon entering the soil in large amounts heavy metals primarily affect biological characteristic like the total content of microorganisms changes their species diversity reduced and the intensity of basic microbiological processes and the activity of soil enzymes decreases in addition heavy metals also changes humus content structure and ph of soils these processes ultimately lead to the partial or in some cases complete loss of soil fertility an increase in contamination emission may also affect the crop productivity adversely there are a number of factors influencing the concentration of heavy metals in plants and soils these factors include climate irrigation atmospheric deposition the nature of the soil on which the plant is grown and time of harvesting heavy metal contamination derived from anthropogenic sources is one of the severest this can strongly influence their speciation and hence bioavailability Thank you for watching the video.